Hello everyone. In today's lecture, we will discuss the next topic, last topic in unit number four, that is a critical clearing angle and its time, with reference to the transient state stability of that uh, Schrodinger equation or the equilibrium criteria. So, in terms of the critical clearing time or that uh, an angle and its time, it's play an important role to finding out uh, to finding out the equilibrium criteria to, to predict the stability of that across the uh, stability of that power system under the transient state. Okay, so let us discuss the clearing what the concept of the critical clearing angle and its time. Okay, so just consider the single infinite bus machine in a bus connected to the infinite bus machine connected to the infinite bus where the PI is nothing but the input power that is connected to the synchronous generator and that circuit breaker should be connected and that uh, suppose the fault should be occur at a uh, at a middle point of that line that is across that circuit breaker and that circuit breaker is uh, another circuit breaker is connected across the uh, synchronous motor at a, at a receiving end point of view that is at the receiving end and that is at the sending end that is the input power input point this is at the output point okay now the suppose the if the fault occur in the system does the delt should be started to it being increasing under the influence of what accelerating power means what whenever the fault should be the occur on the system the delt should start rising to the increasing why because it's not even the deaccelerating the power deaccelerating or so obviously the delt will um, increase over under the influence of accelerating power okay does the system be again unstable if the delt becomes the very large because if the delt automatically tremendously increase over so automatically kya hoga Delt should be tremendously increased because the, it's a deaccelerating over so automatically it should uh, rises with a uh, uncontrollable. So this is that but the, the system will again uh, become the unstable one if the delt should be the very large. So under this condition, there is a critical angle within which the fault should be the clear. The fault must on that system must be the clear so that the system will be, remain stable. And it's the equal area criteria should be the satisfied. So that this angle it's called as what critical clearing angle. Means what the the value of that tail at which before which the fault should be the clear. Means what the value of that tail should be the fault uh, before which the fault on that system should be the clear. So that the system should remain under the stable condition and even if the equal area criteria should be the satisfied what is equal area criteria that's a1 and the a2 should, should be the equal means what the accelerating power and the deaccelerating power it should be the equal means what pi is equal to pe should must be the satisfied for the particular angle of value of that then before it reaches to the uncontrollable or the unstable condition so that this angle is value of that this angle it's called as critical clearing angle okay let us discuss in the detail one uh, consider the system as shown in the figure one where the pi is ready but the input power steady state power at the angle of value of that is ready but the del zero and uh, it's starting from the study but from the accelerating power from the a to the b at the value of del zero from the a to the b then the b as a uh, at the particular point the fault should be occur so that del value is uh, rises from the d accelerating one the b to the c then the c to the d then the d to the e this is ready for the uh, so this is the deaccelerating and this is ready for the accelerating okay so that this is del c it's a critical clearing angle and del one is ready for the uh, maximum angle across the a2 it's a acceleration power ka angle raya del one okay uh, so, so now with the fault on the system at a point of is occur on the radial system the terminal voltage across should be the goes to the zero Hence, the electrical power output should be again rolls to the zero. So the P should be zero at a state point of the drop to the B. So suppose, as we all know, the at the at the initial condition, the fault on the system, the uh, system is running at a condition is that input the power is equal to PI or the PM at a point of is that input the del zero or the initial condition I of A to the B I. Now the fault occur or right? fault occur or that for power ke hoga sir zero hoga. Power zero hoga, then its value kaha tak rahega? That is that input the del C. Okay, so at a particular value of that del, that is called del C, the fault should be the clear. So this is that but the B C should is the condition where the fault should be the clear. Start point of the B and at the point of T C, the corresponding clearing time is that but the T C. So the time taken by that uh, circuit breaker 
तो क्लियर इट्स फॉल्ट दैट इज नथिंग बट अ बीसी सो बीसी कंडीशन में जो टाइम लग रहा है वो लगेगा टीसी दैट इज कॉल्ड एज क्लियरिंग टाइम ओके एंड एट्स एंगल इट्स कॉल्ड एज एंगल इज नथिंग बट डेल सी दैट इज कॉल्ड एज क्लियरिंग एंगल डेल सी सो द फॉल्ट शुड बी क्लियर बाय ओपनिंग द लाइन सर्किट ब्रेकर इट्स कॉल्ड एज टीसी क्लियरिंग टाइम एंड इट्स एंगल इज कॉल्ड एज डेल सी दैट इज कॉल्ड क्लियरिंग एंगल सो आफ्टर द फॉल्ट शुड बी क्लियर द डेल शुड अगेन राइजेस टू द P should be again rises. That is, P should be the P max into the sine of del from the C to the D, then D to the E. Okay, uh, so that P is equal to start point shifting from the point of D on the power angle. The rotor angle now decelerates, and the decelerating power is equal to A two begins to the increasing, and so that D C must be the such that A one and A two should be equal. So that the value of that del C. At the point of T C, it must be satisfied that A one must be equal to the A two. So this value of that del C is called as critical clearing angle, clearing uh, angle, and its time clearing time under the A one and the A two should be equal. Us pe uska value depend raiga. So for that case, we have to finding out the value of that del C. So to finding out the value of that del C, just taken that A one and A two should be the Equal so that a one का value कितना रहेगा? That is p i into the sine of uh, sine and del c minus del zero. p i क्या है? Del c minus del zero. And the p two क्या है? It's a little bit del one minus del zero बोल सकते हैं अपन या फिर del c बोल सकते हैं. Okay? So that uh, p minus p into the del c to the del one. Del c to the del one. Okay? So p minus p one or into the del c to the del one is it that? Del C to the del one. That is the area under the A two curve. Okay, uh, P minus P I into the del one. By after some simplification, we are getting this thing. But what? P max is equal to this one, and the P I into the sine of sine one and uh, del one minus del zero. So P max, as we all know, is equal to sine of del zero. So after the simplification, we are getting the value of that. Uh, Del C that is a critical clearing and clearing angle. Del C zero is nothing but the initial power angle, and the del one is nothing but the power angle when the rotor over should be beyond the del C. So after the del del one should be more than del C, and the del C should be more than del zero. So for the free first fault occur in the P to be zero, thus d square del upon d square is equal to pi f pi upon h with reference to the swing equation. Okay, the swing equation say ya kya hai? Integrating this equation twice so that we are getting this nothing but the del ka value. Del ka value means will be how much? Pi f pi upon 2h t square plus del zero. So if the t pc is a critical clear clearing time, sorry, it's a clearing time corresponding to the clearing angle. Way, thus, beyond that, we obtain from the from this case, this condition ke hisab se, upon we are able to finding out value of what del c and the Clearing time that is a 2h del c minus del zero upon 2f pi. So that's critical clearing and uh, clearing angle and its time. It's play very important role. Uh, before which that it uh, fault should be clear that and the uh, equal area criteria should be satisfied to finding out the stability. This angle is very much important for the transient state stability. Thank you so much. Next lecture we'll discuss the another new concept with reference to the transient state stability.